Hi guys, welcome to another reaction video of mine. I'm here reacting to ReZero starting life in another world, season one, episode seven. So let's get into it and press play. As long as you do not resist, I can make your death a painless one. Why, why are you doing this? Look. I kind of had a feeling it was one of the sisters. Oh, fudge! Mana of water, heal this damaged body. If I let you die too quickly, then I won't be able to get any information out of you. If you had stabbed me with this, you would have been able to flee a bit further. I ask you this. Are you a faction member supporting one of Miss Amelia's rivals for the throne? My heart belongs to Amelia forever until the end of... Answer me. Who hired you and under what conditions? Let's try again. Are you affiliated with the witch's cult? I don't know what that is. My family's been secular for generations. Why? Don't you play dumb with me! <laughs> Your bald-faced lies can only take you so far when the foul stench of the witch is covering you from head to toe! Every time I watched you conversing with my sister, I felt as if I would go out of my mind with anger and unrest. I can't bear it any longer. Even if I know deep down my sister only acts friendly with you and only pretends to care for you. Look, I don't cut my hands when I feel vegetables anymore. I can read those fairy tales. All thanks to you two. Fairy tales? What are you talking about? I'm talking about all the wonderful things you guys gave me. I have no memory of any of that. Why? Even when you said you cut my hair. All the time, I... I... I really like you both. You... My sister is too kind. Despondent, wondering if they'd been impolite. Wait, that's it. What? All this time, I've been struggling to change things alone. But what if? Subaru, are you sure you're okay? Amelia, several times up until now, believe it or not, I've died. Rick. He can't say anything? My voice works. My heart doesn't hurt. But the fear is engraved in me. What's wrong? You've been acting really strange. He's prevented from freaking yes? telling people. I want you to have nothing to do with me. I can't tell anyone about return by death. I've died in this mansion three times. If I die again. I might not come back. He should have gone with the uh, the swordsman. Why, look on your face, I suppose. Why are you here? Bobby and the brat told me I should take a moment to stop by and check on you. I'm okay now. You came here to apologize to me. That's enough. And why in the world should I apologize to you, I suppose? I can't leave until I correct that preposterous notion. 
Not only do you look gloomy, but that disgusting scent I noticed before is heavier now. The stench of the witch, I suppose. I feel like it's bending my nose. Wait a second. You mean the Witch of Envy? What are you talking about? Why do you smell her on me? Nah, I don't know. Regardless, as someone who received special attention from her, you are a burden. Hey, wait a minute. You feel sorry for what you did to me, right? I do not. I'm telling you, Puck. Uh, well, I might feel just a teeny tiny bit sorry, I suppose. If you regret what you did and want my forgiveness, do me the one favor that I ask of you. Fine, let's hear it. That's a long ass bed. But I want you to keep me safe until the fifth morning comes, the day after tomorrow. I don't want you bringing dissension into this mansion, I suppose. For various reasons, this place is vitally important to me. <sighs> Hold out your hand. <clears throat> I have decided that I shall grant your wish. I, Beatrice, on my honor, am henceforth bound by this contract. Temporary or not, a contract must be upheld. I will grant you the nonsense favor you requested. Come on, seriously? I'm gonna cry because I'm a little girl. Don't you ever call me a little girl, and if you tell Bubby, you're gonna regret it, I suppose. Did she curse him or something like that? Come on, you can't keep sleeping forever, I suppose. Oh, that hurt. The Forbidden Archive. Did you carry me in here while I was asleep? The Forbidden Library is the only place for me. Now observe proper manners, I suppose. Hey, Beatrice. I'm sure I'm wrong, but you didn't hold my hand while I was asleep, did you? You are absolutely wrong. Even if Bubby asked me to, I would still refuse, I suppose. They're calling. Huh? I've been summoned, I suppose. <laughs> oh, that's right, you're here. I forgot, I suppose. Hey, hey, hold on. If you go out there now... Guess it's fine if you want to stay. You'll be safe here, I suppose. Stay in there. Don't go out. Don't go out. Stay in there. The sun. Did I make it through the fourth night? And I figured that doing so was next to impossible. In the end, it was that easy. <laughs> right there, they're gonna kill him. Here, come with me. Huh? Where are we going? Uh, Neely, why are you making that face? Everything's gonna be just fine now. Subaru? Wait, what's the matter? <laughs> what? How? What happened? Why, why is Ren dead? It appears that she died of weakness. It was as if she just fell asleep. The method was more of a curse than a spell. I thought it was Rem who used that curse. So she isn't the shaman? After this has happened to a dear member of my staff, I seem to be a tiny bit angry, you see. Subaru, if you know anything, then please tell us. I just want to spill it all and get it off my chest. <laughs> If you know something, you better tell me. I'm warning you. We promise. I always uphold my end of promises. As long as he continues to remain in this mansion, I am contracted to protect him, I suppose. But Miss Beatrice. Roswell, he spent last night in the Forbidden Library. So surely he couldn't have had anything to do There's with... There's no further need to emphasize the situation at hand. However, Beatrice, if you agreed to guard him with your life, you must have taken quite a liking to him. Save the jokes for your makeup and weird fetishes, I suppose. 
Stop it! None of that even matters! I must avenge Rem. If you know anything, then you have to tell me. Help me! Help Rem! Say something! I'm sorry, Rem. Despite all this, I'm choosing to trust him. Subaru, please. If you can save Rem, if you can save Rem, I beg you, please do so. Somebody's gonna push him off. It's just one more step. I can't even do something as simple as that. I finally found you. Why? What's the matter, I suppose? Why did you come out here for me? Didn't I? How quickly you forget. The contract I entered into was to protect you. You'll have no more chances to explain yourself to the older sisters. That opportunity has come and gone. But I really cared about those two very much, and I wanted to do whatever I could to protect them. Why? What do you know about them, I suppose? Either way, they'll never be restored to what they once were. At the very least, you need to die where I can't see you, or I'll just have bad dreams, I suppose. So I'll do what I can to help you escape this territory. Think of it back then. Somebody was holding both of my hands. Rum. Rem. Her cries were haunting. They won't leave my mind. Hey, Subaru, you're thinking of something pretty stupid here. And after all that I went through to save this life. That's right. I simply saved my own life. So then, what's wrong with taking the path that's easiest? That will let me live longer. I'll decide how I use my life. Afraid you were a bit too slow. I finally found you. I'm not going to let you get away. Stay back, I suppose. So long as my contract exists, I won't hold back, not even against you. And you, Miss Beatrice, you seem to have forgotten we're not in the mansion now. We're in the forest, away from the Forbidden Library. Are you so certain that you'll be able to protect him from me? <laughs> what the frick is this problem? Feels good. What are you doing, you buffoon? Do you want to die or something? Of course not. Don't be dumb. That isn't what I want at all. Sorry. I caused a lot of grief for you guys by being such a pathetic loser. So you do know something about Rem? Nope. Sorry, but I honestly don't know a thing. Even so. I decided to learn more about the things I don't understand. My sister Rem is already dead! What can you do by learning anything now? It's way too late for that! I know parts of you two that you've forgotten! What are you saying? What is it you think you know about Rem and me? Don't get me wrong, because in the grand scheme of things, what I know doesn't really matter. But it does to me, and you have no idea what it is, do you? Tell me! I care for all of you! Every one of you meet the world to me! Oh my word. Somebody gonna stop him? Nobody stopped him? Episode.